Hey guys, I'm the 50s Kid, and today's video is about BMW fan clutches. I'm going to show you three ways to remove them. The first way is going to use these special tools. Um, this is a, a special 32 millimeter wrench and a, a water pump pulley holder that you can get off of eBay for about $18. Um, they're made out of aluminum, quarter inch aluminum. They, they feel pretty solid, but uh, it, 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 they're not the best thing. So. You, you kind of get what you pay for. Keep that in mind, and, and I'll and I'll give you an example. You can see how this end is actually longer than this end. That's because on the on the uh, water pump pulley, these bolts are actually offset from from these ones. These two are offset. So depending on which way the the, the pulley is oriented when you last stopped your engine, you'll either use this end to hold it, or you know if it's oriented that way, you would use this end to hold it. But if you look closely, I believe it is, that's actually this end. If you look closely on this end, when you, when you get that, uh, that whole line there, you can see that uh, this, the hole on this side doesn't, doesn't quite align properly. So once again, you get what you pay for. It actually doesn't matter because you only need just, just the, the top end. You just need to grab onto one bolt and then you, then you rest the tool down on the, on the fan clutch nut. And that's how you hold it. So let me, let me give you a demonstration. I've got this method. Um, you actually don't need special tools if you have a 12-inch crescent wrench and like a long screwdriver or a pry bar. That's method number two. And method number three is kind of a secret. So let's, let's go through one and two first and then we'll, we'll check out number three. You're going to like it. So there's the fan clutch nut. There are the pulley bolts. Um, I've actually removed the fan shroud so that you can, you can uh, see this a little bit better because that fan shroud like sticks up over, like, over it like that. It's pretty annoying. So I'm just going to grab, grab it right there. And you can rest the tool down on the nut, on the uh, fan clutch nut or the fan nut. And then put the wrench in. So basically I'm just going to whack it like this and that's going to get it loose. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And you just spin it off clockwise and, and you're done. That's method number one. With method number two, you're gonna take your pry bar and put it down in here and rest it against one of the nuts so that you can uh, pry back on it, pry so that you can pry uh, this way on it. And then you'll take the wrench. I've actually already got it pre-adjusted so, so that it's uh, just the size of that fan nut. I think I need to go this way though. Yeah, so I basically got it right there. So now I can pry to the uh, left with my pry bar and I can hit my, uh, my wrench to the right and that will loosen it. Boom. Let's say that you can't get your fan off with either of those two methods. That bolt is just stuck on there and no amount of cranking is, is working. This is an alternative method that will definitely work for you. First of all, get, your, get the shroud, uh, take the fasteners out of the shroud so that it, it's loose like this. And get it and, and pull it forward like this. Now you can see the front of the fan clutch, right? And you can see there's that little bolt there. It's actually a, a hex head bolt. You need a, uh, a number five. So we're going to reach in here like this. And... and get the bolts loose. Just be real careful. Pull the bolt out. That was my second one. One left. If you just hold the ratchet with the head of the, the bit with your hand, just kind of pinch it, you'll be able to keep on ratcheting the bolt out even after it gets too loose to, to have tension. There. Well, it fell on the floor, but that's all right. It's loose. And now I can take the shroud and the fan blades out together. So I'll just take the fan blades out first. And the shroud can come out. What you need to do now is get these four bolts off of the water pump pulley. You'll want to come in here with a 10 millimeter wrench and crack the bolts loose. Now, rather than removing the, uh, the belt at this point, I'm going to keep it on there. 
and slip a number 16 ratchet on it and take off the tension. This way I can turn the water pump upside down and get access to the other bolts. And the belt will hold tension on there and allow me to crack them free. There we go. Now you can remove your belts. Number 16 on that bottom. And that number 16 over here. Now we can just take the nuts off the water pump pulley. Okay. Now that you've got the, pull, the, the pulley pulled forward, you can see that you have access to the four nuts that hold the water pump onto the engine. Once you have those nuts off, you'll take one of the, the bolts from the water pump pulley and you'll actually thread it in to this hole right here. And you'll thread it in on either side and you'll use the wrench to kind of, you know, to, to crank it a, a, a little, a couple turns on each side, you know, this side, that side, this side, that side, and that's going to draw the water pump out. And then you'll be able to take the whole water pump and the fan clutch out together. And hey, there you go. You, you now have, you know, you now have it off basically. So as you can see, so you do have access to both of those nuts on that side, and you're probably going to have to take the thermostat off to get access to the two nuts on this side because you just can't quite get your, you might not be able to get your wrench in there. Although, you know, you, you, you might be able to try. I can, I can probably, I can actually get this wrench in on this side to crack that nut loose. And then, yeah, you know what? I actually have, I actually have room to, to crack the nut down here. It's just going to be a lot easier if you remove the thermostat. There are four bolts on the thermostat. There's a 10 there, a 10 underneath, a 10 underneath here. And this is, I believe a 13. So the thermostat will come out and you'll drain your coolant. Obviously you'll need to do that. And, and you know, this, you'll be able to get your water pump and your fan clutch out uh, together, but Hey, at least you can replace them. You know, you can get a new water pump off eBay for, I don't know, 35, 40 bucks and a new fan clutch, I think is around 50 or 60. That's not that much. Well, there you have it. Three methods for removing a BMW fan clutch. One of these methods will definitely work for you. I hope you found this helpful and thanks very much for watching.